feels like. I'm sending down, I think this is a half ounce jig on a cut on a piece of shrimp. Last time down caught me a nice porgy. Let's see what happens. There she goes. I just dropped on the shrimp, got a little nibble the first time around, wouldn't pay any attention. So let's see what happens. We're in about a hundred foot of water. So far it's been quiet, no, um, no real action, but it's just getting started. Here we go, here we go, missed him. He's back, he's back for it. Oh, oh, fish on. <laughs> Feels like an amberjack. And my big rod is connected also. Yep, looks like an amberjack. Uh, just a blue blue runner feels like another blue runner yep wait oh beautiful porgy now that's a fish I wanted to catch today sweet so they call these uh, grass porgies it's, they're like a hybrid between a porgy and a sheep's head. Beautiful fish. Feels like an M. Oh. Just hooked into something just now, right on the bottom. Feels different, doesn't feel like the jacks that I was catching earlier. So hopefully it's a nice snapper, porgy or something like that. Little scamp grouper, beautiful little fish. There he goes. Go for clear water. What do you think about moving? I'm pretty close to it, man. But I just caught a scamp. It was a little bit short. What was that you had on there just now? A big blue runner. Big blue. Okay, man. It was a good eating, man. Yeah, let's give it. So basically, the major feeding time is at 10:30. I think if we hang out here, or let's explore around the area and see what happens. But we wanna, wherever we're gonna fish, we wanna be there at 10:30 at that spot. That's the major feeding time today. Okay, then we'll just hang around here then. Yeah, works for me, man.
Blue Hunter. <laughs> Hey Al, big old yellow tail, big old yellow tail, and the major feeding just started. All right, so I got this chum block going and I have a really light jig. I think it's like a one eight ounce jig with a piece of shrimp and I'm trying to just keep it within that chum slick. So just now I caught a, probably a 15 inch yellowtail. Hopefully we'll get some more. Look at this, how close this, this boat is getting to me. Out here 30 miles out <laughs> and there's slackers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> Dude, this is D6. I'll follow you, but right now, so far, I've caught two yellowtails in this spot. Hey, Al. Hey, Al. Anchor up, Al. Al. Anchor up right there. I got yellowtail in this chump slick right here. Yellowtail right at the boat. I, I, dude, you got to get your line down, man. See, this is what happened. I'm spending time trying to get the camera working instead of focusing on catching a fish. Ah. Oh, are you coming home with me too? <laughs> All right, we got Captain Al on something big over there. Hopefully it's a huge yellow tail. That's a monster mangrove. That gotta be over 20. What? That's what I'm talking. That's what we came out for. I think you got a fish on Lawrence. Little scamp. Beautiful yellow tail. 
Look at that beauty. We just got Al and Lawrence on back-to-back -back yellowtail. I'm hooked on to something nice right here. He's putting up a good fight, but we're on really light time. beautiful water right there. Going on the, the New Pass Bridge. Just came from the New Pass Inlet. Hey, Pelicans. Pelicans hanging out, waiting for a meal. Almost to the ramp, another 10 minutes, and I'll be at the ramp. Pretty darn good day fishing. Yeah, that's a nice restaurant over there. Um, never been there. People tell me a lot of good things about it. Gonna try it one day. All right, so I'm heading back in. Just got past the New Pass Bridge. Um, just going through the channel right now. It's a beautiful day, beautiful water. You can't beat this. This is awesome. This is this is what it's all about. All right, let's get this bad boy docked and head on home. It's an awesome day fishing. That's how you do it, nice and smooth.
guys will stay there longer. And I said it was a dead 